Hi guys, my name is Joseph and I'm a teacher at the Hot Room Leeds and I'm going to teach you a breathing exercise today called 478 breathing. So basically we're going to inhale through the nose for four counts. We're going to hold the breath for seven and then we'll exhale out of the mouth for eight counts. So um, an important part of this uh, breathing exercise is to bring the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. So you find that curling action and then bring it towards the back of the teeth. And then when you exhale, just begin to let it go and soften in the mouth. Okay, so come into easy pose, crossing the legs, bring the back of the hands onto the knees, roll the shoulders back and have a nice long spine. Begin to close the eyes, curl the tongue up, and let's begin. Inhale for four counts and fill up the lung space. And hold the breath at the top. Relax the face, soften the shoulders, and then exhale for eight counts. And keep on exhaling until you reach the bottom of the breath. I'm gonna count this one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top. And exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final time, inhale into the lung space, fill up the ribcage and hold breath. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and a two, and a one. And just find your neutral breathing pattern. Begin to let that go. And slowly begin to blink the eyes open. Okay, thank you everybody. On behalf of the Hot Room Leads team, thank you very much. Namaste. Hi guys, this is Anna from the Hot Room in Leeds. I'm gonna show you a quick exercise which is really good for stretching your whole body. Uh, this posture is a yoga pose called Downward Facing Dog. So I'm um, going to come now onto all fours, and this is a tabletop position. And we're going to check now that our knees and feet and hands are all the same distance. It should be about shoulder width and hip width distance apart. Then with your hands, spread your fingers out and check that the crease of your wrist is lined up with the top edge of your mat. Press your hands down, tuck your toes underneath. Take a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to lift the hips right up into the sky, coming into a big triangle shape with the body. And this is our downward facing dog. From here, a really good way to add a little bit extra mobility and stretching in is to start to pedal the knees one at a time so you push opposite heel into the ground. And that really allows you to get a nice stretch down the hamstrings, into the calves, even the feet as well. So you're going to stretch your legs out and then you can again just come into stillness. And really good way to increase your technique and your form in downward dog is to think about lifting the tailbone, this part here, right up into the sky. And then at the same time, drawing the navel in, press the chest towards the thighs. And that helps you to create even more opening in the upper part of your spine, which is a really good counter action you spend a lot of time sitting at a desk with your head down. So um, with your head you want to just let it relax so the neck is in a relaxed position and you can just gaze between the feet and then just holding this for some time breathing through the nose and when you're ready to come down just bring your knees to the floor and you can just take a little rest. All right so this is our downward facing dog really simple effective exercise to stretch your whole body. Hi guys, this is George from the Hot Room Leads. I'm just going to do a few rounds of mountain climbers. I'll be doing them alongside with you, just to get your heart rate nice and high, okay? Ready? A few rounds of 20 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Take a plank position, knees to chest, knees to chest. Okay, it's a very long stance. You look beyond your mat, knees to chest. And you speed it up a bit more, okay? It's like a sprint. We're getting the heart rate nice and high. You speed it up and breathe. Breathe, okay? A few more seconds, you can do this. Breathe. And change, okay? When I say change, you take a little break. 
we're gonna do quite a few rounds of 20 seconds with a little break in between. Ready from a plank position, ready, set and go. Okay, you look beyond your mat, you pull your belly in and knee to chest, knee to chest. That's it, getting the heart rate nice and high already. Just pull your belly in extra hard, squeeze your glutes, remembering to breathe, make it sustainable, breathe, breathe. Okay, and change. Okay, this one gets the heart rate very high, strengthens your abdominal muscles, shoulders, core, everything. Ready, set, and go. Okay, it's very important to push away from the mat, knee to chest, Already you should be feeling extra warm, okay? Just speed it up a bit more. It's like a sprint. You look beyond your mat, you push away from the mat, and you pull your belly, knee to chest, breathe, breathe. And change, okay? This is classified as the cardio move. Supposed to get your heart rate nice and high. Only for 20 seconds, ready, set, and go, go, go. Okay, in the Pilates classes, we teach in the hot room leads and now in the virtual studio, we strengthen the posture for the first half. And it's more like a full body strengthening workout, it's like a gym workout, okay? You work extra hard, 20 seconds, and you speed it up, breathe, breathe. Okay, complete exhaustion for 20 seconds, and then 10, 10 seconds rest, catching up on breathing, letting energy recirculate, ready, set, and go. Go, 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 just breathe, push away, knee to chest, knee to chest a few more sets, 20 seconds, okay, toning your lower abdominals, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly in, and speed it up even more, breathe, breathe, change, okay, this is one of the most challenging exercises we do in the hot pilates classes, towards the end of class, just to spike up the heart rate, okay, complete exhaustion, is supposed to be very challenging, ready, set, and go, Knee to chest, knee to chest, breathe. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit sweaty, very warm. It's really, really good for toning lower abdominal, building cardiovascular strength. Breathe. Okay, with this exercise we're teaching, the lungs how to absorb more oxygen and energy. The whole body kind of complete exhaustion of energy. So you could absorb more oxygen and energy for you. Ready, set, and go. Okay, let's just do another set. Breathe. Finishing strong. Complete exhaustion. This is one of the finishing exercises we do. That's it. Complete exhaustion of every muscle in the body. Strengthening while we're becoming more athletic. Breathe. And change.